Want to learn how to set and achieve goals from one of the world's leading experts? What I'm going to explain to you is a life changer. And we'll come back to that video later. But for now, I want you to watch this one life changing technique that Brian shared in that conversation. It's like programming it into your subconscious mind. Brian taught this technique in his seminars and it's helped top achievers consistently achieve their goals and exceed them. And so what I do in almost all of my seminars, I've personally used this technique for over a year and I found it to be transformative. But the question is, will it work for you? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Ash Roy, an ex-banker, a CPA, an MBA, and I have a passion for helping small business owners to grow their businesses using digital marketing strategies that help them build their brand and boost their productivity. Let's do this. Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and I'm happy to say that I've written 90 books over the years and produced more than a thousand audio and video programs. And now I'm here with my friend, Ash Roy, and we're talking about this. And what I find is that he knows more stuff than I do. So it is a great pleasure to be uh, with Ash and you will find it's a great pleasure for you to be with Ash as well. So, <laughs> so there's something, Brian, about physically handwriting stuff. It appears to engage a different part of the brain. The act of handwriting as opposed to typing somehow creates a certain sense of urgency and agency. Ash, I'm so glad you brought that up because what I'm going to explain to you is a life changer. Something happens the, the, between the head and the hand that is almost a, a miracle. You can never get that, as you say, from typing. It comes from writing. And so what I do in almost all of my seminars, I have people take page of paper and write down 10 goals yep. that they'd like to accomplish in the next 12 months and then select one goal, the goal that can have the greatest impact on all the others and focus on that one goal. Don't yes. try to achieve everything. Because here's what happens when you write a goal, it's like programming it into the, your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind, sort of like a team of computer operators, then hands it over to your super conscious mind. Yes. And your, your super conscious mind has been discovered for more than 4,000 years. Very few people know about it, but once you study the super conscious mind, you're in a way never the same again. What I have discovered which was like a miracle to me is that when you write down a goal you're actually writing it into your superconscious mind that's powerful yeah. as an idea yes and and what that means is that your superconscious mind takes that goal and begins to work on the goal 24 hours a day you can just go about your life but things will start to change and i remember when i was poor and living on the floor of a friend's one room apartment and i was reading a magazine article and it said if you want to be successful you have to have goals so i took a scrap of paper and i wrote down 10 goals and I promptly lost both the magazine <laughs> and the list of goals. But in the next 30 days, my whole life changed. Right. My goals were to increase my sales, increase my income, have my own place to live, have a fixed salary and so on. And every single goal, I forgot the goal. I, f I lost the paper, but they all just came true. And I, I remember I said, this, there's something going on here because uh, here I was uh, lost, alone, knocking on doors, living uh, from day to day and so on. And then I wrote down the goals and my whole life started to change. And do you uh, recommend writing your goals down each day? Would that make yes. it even better? So I started a course and I gave it for seven years and I trained more than a thousand business owners and I can only get them to attend if I unconditionally guaranteed that they would double their income and double their time off. It was a one-year course and, and you work together. In my first day, I said, I want to introduce you to your new best friend. Yeah. And your new best friend is a spiral notebook. So people would take this and I would have them write out 10 goals uh, that they wanted to accomplish uh, sometime in the next 12 months. Close enough to be motivational and far enough to be challenging. I said, for the next 30 days, I want you to pick up your workbook and every day write down 10 goals. The next day, turn the page and without looking at your previous page, yeah. write down 10 goals again. And in other words, you're not just copying from day to day, right. you're rewriting from memory. And this rewriting from memory, what will happen is the description of your goals will change and the order of priority of your goals will change. Okay. And you'll keep doing this. And in 30 days, your life will have changed forever. If you've got half a brain, just do it every day. It takes three to five minutes for you to quickly write down 
your ten souls. Life will have taken this rapid change, right. and at the end, end of a year, you'll be a different person. You will be accomplishing goals you never thought. You'll be meeting people, and your superconscious mind is going to be working and attracting and drawing all of these forces and people and ideas into your life. Most amazing thing, and you'll have okay. more turning points. And the more you feed your mind with ideas, the more likely it is you're going to have. Great ideas. Now, there's a couple of things I want to say to that. Brian Tracy talks a lot about the superconscious mind and writing your goals into your subconscious. I want to be clear that I personally don't know whether the law of attraction works or not. And to me, this doesn't mean that you just write your goals down and they magically happen. There is a lot of work that goes into it. But I think what Brian Tracy was saying and what I found to be true was when you write your goals down every day, your subconscious mind starts to work on that and your actions then align with those goals so you are more focused on taking goal directed actions which means that you physically do the things you need to do to make those things happen so this is not magical thinking this is the process of programming your mind to do the things it needs to do for you to achieve the things you need to achieve i hope that makes sense now i'd like to invite you to write down your top 10 goals you want to achieve in the next 30 days in the comments section now, as I said before, I'll come back to the full video. I'm going to link to the full conversation in the description below, but you can also check it out at ProductiveInsights.com forward slash 207, and you can find all the show notes there. But I think it's probably easier for you if you just click on this link here and it will take you straight to the video. If you find this video useful, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to follow up with another video just like this one.